Welcome back to another edition of Vikings Film Room, brought to you by the Vikings Entertainment Network. I'm your host, Pete Persich. Well, the Minnesota Vikings continued their free agent ways by bringing in former Baltimore tight end Josh Oliver. Now, Josh Oliver, you think about tight end, it doesn't make sense. Do we, do we even need a tight end? Well, let's take a look at the film and see exactly what Josh Oliver does well, and you'll see exactly why I think he is going to be a tremendous add to this Minnesota Vikings offense. First play, you'll see Oliver at the bottom of your screen. He's the inside tight end. He starts out, blocks the outside linebacker just enough to slow him down, and then just makes his way across across the, the uh, defensive formation. He gets out wide, gets open, and I love him just putting that shoulder down right at the end, not diving for the end zone. He wanted to get one more hit before he got into the end zone. Now this next play shows when it's not man, but zone, and he has the ability and the smarts to know and to recognize what coverage he's up against. You'll see him again, goal line situation at the bottom of your screen. This time he'll release outside the outside linebacker and then work his way across the back of the end zone. But as he understands that it's zone and he sees the outside defender, he turns his shoulders and settles and he settles in that gap in between the two defenders, easy throw, catch and touchdown. Now our next example is open field receiving. And in this case, you'll see Oliver at the top of your screen. He's kind of the, the point man in this uh, three receiver type situation. This is an example of if you don't cover him, he's good enough to beat you. And in this case, you're gonna see Jacksonville, the outside linebacker jams and then comes off. And then the corner, you have two guys chasing the guy in the flat. This is a busted coverage, which Oliver is able to get behind. You see the quarterback notices the issue, sees Oliver deep, throws him the football, and he comes up with a big catch. So my point is you can't ignore him as a wide receiver. And if you do, it's to your peril because he's going to find a way to get open and make a play. Now, again, with a big blocking tight end, you expect him to be relevant and to be part of the play action passing game. And this play is a great example of that. You see him at the bottom of your screen. You get a little bit of motion from the outside. You get the hard downhill play action. And because Oliver's size, you expect him, yeah, he should be able to run the seam right down the middle of the field. And he does that. He gets behind the linebacker inside of the safety. Now, this ball is thrown just a little bit beyond his reach. Probably a play that should have been a touchdown. But the point is, is you can downhill play action with this guy. And if the linebackers are stepping up, you can get him in behind. He's tall enough and he's fast enough to do that as a receiver. All right, how about his hands? This is a great end zone angle because I think you, you see it best here. You see Oliver on the left side of your screen lined up and this is just a short underneath type of a, of a pass. It releases, gets past the linebacker and look at that, sticks that arm out, grabs that thing and this was reviewed and this was a catch. So a brilliant one arm grab by Josh Oliver. So not too bad of a receiver. All right, another example of, of Josh Alvar as a wide receiver, receiving tight end. You'll see him at the top of your screen. As this play develops, he's just gonna work his way outside the defensive end, inside the middle linebacker, and try to get to the middle of the field, and he's drifting. But as soon as he feels the quarterback start to scramble, he sees and knows that it's zone, so what does he do? He settles. He settles and finds that open area. Lamar Jackson's able to step up and then throw him the football. Another great example of him being able to identify what coverage is around him and then act accordingly. Now, another way that the Baltimore Ravens used Josh Oliver is in a kind of a pass pro check release type of a, of a category. And I really don't like it when teams keep tight ends in the block, outside linebackers and defensive ends, because those are some of the best pass rushers in the business and to leave them one-on-one, -on -one, it takes a really good blocking tight end to do that. So in this case, you'll see Oliver on the right-hand side of your screen against the outside linebacker, checks, protects, pushes, his, he takes care of his block piece of uh, blocking completely, and then releases out to the flat, able to make a move and then get the first down. So not horrible as a blocker slash check release. Another example of the Ravens using Oliver as a blocking tight end and then you know working his way out late into into the pass route you see him on the bottom of your screen he sets up blocks the defensive back back pedals sees that Lamar is starting to scramble just gets himself open nice catch turns it up the field avoids a block avoids a tackle again a good job as a relief valve in the passing game all right now the best part of Oliver's film I mean this he's a blocking tight end 
but he's really, really good. In this play, you'll see it's going to be a zone to the right. Oliver's on the left-hand side of your screen, and his job is to cut off that outside linebacker. And on all these plays, you'll see him not only do his job, but you won't see the guys he's blocking end up making the play. And he's just not holding the point either. He's making guys move or putting guys on the ground. So in this case, that linebacker is stepping up. He's head up. He's really trying to get head up or outside of Oliver to get in there and make that tackle. But Oliver stays on him, pushes him, and gets him all the way to the end and actually gets his guy on the ground. So a great job of backside cutoff block in a zone run by Oliver. And one thing you want to notice too is a lot of these blocking plays are all from the same game. It didn't take me long to find great examples of him run blocking on film which means consistency, and that's a great thing. On this play, you'll see him on the right side of your screen. Now, this is important. This is a double team, but it's against a defensive end, not an outside linebacker. This is a defensive end. And when the ball snap, you'll see the double team first start between the offensive lineman and Oliver, and the, and the offensive lineman's able just to get his shoulder in and then work his way up to the next level, which is what he has to do. But watch Oliver stay on that defensive end and continue to force him and push him underneath, meaning he didn't allow that defensive end to hold the point. If you watch where the contact is made and where the play finishes, he's continuing to move his guy inside, and that's huge when you have a tight end that can move a 3-4 defensive tackle. It's a mismatch, and he's able to do it one-on-one. -on -one. Now, this play is, is one of my favorites as well, but it, it goes to point out a couple things. Number one, if our offense was struggling or was inadequate in a certain area last year, it was what? It was third and one, fourth and one, these extreme, these short yardage type plays. Watch what Oliver can do. Now, you see him on the right-hand side of your screen outside the tackle, and then he has a wing outside of him, and then there's an outside linebacker who's lined up well outside. Now, in these kinds of situations, defenses love to stunt that outside linebacker underneath and this guy's going to try to do that he's going to try to come across the face of oliver and you'll see oliver step inside gets that head across and then taking his defensive outside linebacker from the right side and pushing him all the way out of the screen all right another example of him doing a wonderful job against a defensive end slash outside linebacker you see Oliver on the left-hand side of your screen. This is part of a three tight end set. So they have three tight ends all lined up over there. Defense knows, hey, they're going to want to run the football. But 91 is going to work again. He's going to try to work underneath inside of Oliver. Once that double team hits and that outside tight end bumps the defensive end shoulder, you'll see him just torque him across his face and then bury him down. And that's not easy for a tight end to do, and there aren't many that can do it as well as this guy can. All right, another example of his pass protection ability. You see Oliver on the right-hand side of your screen. This is him one-on-one -on -one in pass pro versus Kayvon Thibodeau, right? One of the better pass rushers in the NFL. And again, I don't like when offenses do this. I think they're asking too much out of their tight ends. But you see him, nice back step, works his way, makes Kayvon Thibodeau get just a little bit too far up the field. He tries to turn that corner, gets enough of him to allow the quarterback to step up and get out of the pocket and then make a throw. So he's able to pass protect against some of the better defensive ends in this league. And finally, if you need special teams help, he can help you there too. And on this play, you'll see him, he's the number three guy. He's in the middle on the right half of this formation, covering the kick, does a pretty good job of staying up front with, with the guys in front of him, works across the face of the blocker. Now, what's interesting is he falls on the ground. But it, again, in life, it's not what happens to you. It's how you react to it. Well, Oliver doesn't stay on the ground, right? He gets himself back up, gets in the chase, and when this back finally cuts back again, he's on his back and able to make a tackle. Now, was it a big return? Yes, but the point is, is the effort level. That's the kind of effort level you get playing and play out out of this guy. He likes to do the dirty work. He's not afraid to block. He's not afraid to cover kicks. And when he does, he gives you everything that he has. That tenacity is going to help this Vikings running game quite a bit especially with the number of three, four type schemes that we're going to see, you need a tight end that can handle a good outside linebacker and or a good defensive end. Trust me, Oliver is going to help this running game.